it. I don't have nothing nice to say to you. I'm not being cordial. It is what it is. So I told her back your dirty ass up instantly. Get back. Get back. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Barbie Sax, the big one, not the little one. If you are a turn subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And also, on top of that, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Make sure you guys are turning on y'all post notifications so y'all get notified every time your girl posts a video. So today's video is going to be a stripper vlog. Today is Saturday. It is August 31st. And right now it is 9.20 p.m. So we are going to work tonight, y'all. So I need to hurry up. So we got 40 minutes to beat this face, okay? <laughs> so today we're going to do a little Little sit down chit chat get ready with me while I do my makeup hold on y'all I need to put some lip chap on because my lips is ashy so first we're gonna start off with some primer this is the one size primer and I know mine's look a little dirty not too much okay <laughs> not too much much but y'all what's been up what's been good how y'all been I feel like I haven't sat down and really talked to y'all in a long freaking time and honestly y'all I'm excited about it <laughs> Oh my God, y'all. So my face is breaking out so freaking bad right now. I do not know what's going on. When I tell you I got pimples literally all over my face, like I got pimples all over my face. And y'all, I'm freaking out because I'm trying to figure out the problem. Like, you know when you break out and you try to pinpoint, okay, I probably broke out because I slept in my makeup last night. Or I probably broke out because I started using new product. Literally, I do not sleep in my makeup. I have not used any new products. Like, I do not know what's going on. Oh, and like, oh, I am so stressed out. I am so stressed out, y'all, because what the hell got me breaking out like this? Like, I honestly don't know. So, y'all, please, not too much on my face, okay? <laughs> not too much on my face. I'm trying to get it together. So, next, we're gonna go in with this NARS concealer, not NARS concealer, NARS foundation. This is in the color Caracas Medium Deep. When I tell y'all your girl is so stressed out, I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm stressed out. Like, I just don't know why my face is breaking out this bad. Like, I literally do everything I'm supposed to do. Like, I literally wash my face two times a day, sometimes three. I don't overwash, though. But sometimes I do three times a day, depending on, you know what I'm saying? If I sweat it that day or whatever, I might wash my face three times a day. I got a skincare routine. It all, like... I change out my sheets every week. I wash my sheets every week faithfully. I do not play about that. So what can really be the problem? Like, oh my God, this is stressing me out. Huh? Literally. Normally I don't use primer. I always replace my primer with Milk and Magnesia. So I'm not gonna use Milk and Magnesia today just in case the Milk and Magnesia is breaking me out because that can be why as well. Because I'm pretty sure Milk and Magnesia is not really meant to be on your face. You feel me? Like I'm pretty sure Milk and Magnesia Magnesia is not supposed to go on your face. So today I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna use the Milk of Magnesia until I figure out what's breaking me out. We just gonna do primer, okay? <laughs> but y'all, what do y'all do when y'all break out so bad and y'all can't pinpoint, you know what I'm saying, where it's coming from? Like, what do y'all do? Cause honestly, me, I'ma cry. <laughs> I'ma cry about it for real. Cause what the hell is going on? I don't know if I told y'all or not, but today is Saturday. I didn't work last night because honestly, y'all, school has really been having me I'm not gonna say stress out because I'm not stressed out, but I've been feeling really like, honestly, y'all, I just been feeling like I don't have enough time anymore. You know what I'm saying? So yesterday I did not go to work. Honestly, I'm trying to learn how to prioritize my peace and my time because I'm the type of person, like I'm such a hard worker. And if you know, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. Only hard workers can relate, but I'm such a hard worker to where like, I never prioritize relaxation. Like every day I feel like I gotta be doing something every second of the day on top of that. I feel like I always got to be doing something. So yesterday, I really took the day to just get myself together. I really didn't even do much, honestly. And it felt so freaking good. Like, I don't remember the last time I literally did nothing. And I know it might sound crazy, but y'all, sometimes them days where you literally don't do nothing is so freaking needed. Like, especially when you a hard worker, especially when you a go-getter, especially when you a hustler. Like, them days are so freaking needed. Honestly, I'm really trying to learn how to prioritize my relaxation more and stop overworking myself. I don't do it on purpose. Like who really sits up there and work themselves to death on purpose? You know what I'm saying? Like nobody does that. But it's just in me to hustle. It don't matter what I'm doing. It don't matter if I'm making money. It don't matter if I'm going to 
going to school. It don't matter what I'm doing. It's just in me to be a hard worker no matter what I'm doing. Oh my God, y'all. So I do want to give y'all a quick little update. <laughs> I'm so excited to tell y'all. Okay, y'all, let me calm down, let me calm down. So this is not for certain just yet. It's still in the works, but your girl might be going to Spain for two months. Like what? <laughs> I'm so freaking excited, y'all. And like I told y'all, it's not for certain just yet. It's still in the works, but I might be going to Spain to live in Spain for two months. But let me give y'all the full details so y'all can like fully understand and stuff. So, so this semester I am taking Spanish one. For y'all that don't know, I am Hispanic and black. I do not speak fluent Spanish. I speak some Spanish, but not fluent Spanish. Growing up, my mother never spoke Spanish around us. She did speak Spanish like here and there. Like I do know how to say certain things, but I don't know how to speak fluently. But my father is black. So she really didn't feel the need to like teach us Spanish or speak Spanish around the household. So I grew up speaking English. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but I'm taking Spanish one this year, y'all. And this lady had came to our class to speak to us, but she was telling us all the opportunities that our school is going on. And y'all, I think I want to go to Spain. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. Like what? Me? Living in Spain for two freaking months? Like, <laughs> that's so freaking crazy. And honestly, y'all, I was thinking, I was like, dang, if I go to Spain, like, that'd be really lit. You know what I'm saying? And I could take y'all with me. I could show y'all Spain, like, and on top of that, I could see if they got some strip clubs out there, like. <laughs> You feel me? You, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Like, I can see if they got any strip clubs out there. Like, I know for a fact there's no YouTuber on YouTube right now that's dancing in Spain. Like, <laughs> the funny part is y'all probably think I'm playing, but I'm so dead ass. Like, <laughs> if I go out there for two months, I'm going to see if they have any strip clubs. And I don't know, y'all. I might try to go up in there a weekend or two. You know what I'm saying? To show y'all what the Spain strip clubs is hitting on. That's if they have strip clubs. Because like I said, I'm not really sure. I was like, that'll be so freaking cool cool like and then on top of that i could vlog my everyday life in spain like what <laughs> that is so like exotic that's so like cool but y'all that is in the works right now like i said it's not for a certain but it is in the works but i'm most definitely gonna keep y'all updated on that but wouldn't that be cool like what barbie stacks in spain barbie stacks stripping in spain like <laughs> let me stop saying that because they probably don't even have strip clubs but i'm most definitely gonna figure out i think i ain't I just went in with some concealer from Juvia's Place. This is closer to my skin complexion, but I'm about to go in with the same concealer, just a different shade to highlight. I don't know if they got anything going on this weekend at the club. Your girl is trying to make her some money. You feel me? I need me a cute little bag. Like last weekend, we made $2,000 in one night. Your girl need $2,000 in one night this weekend again. Like, please. I know it's probably looking a little bright right now, but y'all just trust the process, okay? <laughs> just trust the process. But the goal for tonight is $1,000. Your girl want her a cute little band tonight. The first is what? Tomorrow? <laughs> Rent is due, baby. Your girl need her a cute little band. Oh my God, y'all. I really like doing these sit down, get ready with me's with y'all. It's so much fun. <laughs> and I know I'm just sitting here talking to the camera camera and it's not like y'all talking to me back but honestly y'all I love it like I really do it's so freaking fun now I'm about to go in with my Laura Mercy Air Powder and I'm about to set my under eye but y'all we are almost finished <laughs> I know y'all probably think like damn girl hurry up wrap it up boo but y'all we almost finished I promise quick school update I was thinking about changing my major and y'all let me know if I should do this or not okay if y'all don't know my major right now is business but I was thinking about changing my major to financial accounting I am taking a financial accounting class this semester and honestly y'all I like it like <laughs> I really do and y'all already know your girl love her some money and I was just thinking I was just like why we sex you love money you know what I'm saying you not money hungry you won't do anything for a dollar but you love money and on top of that you really good at math and on top of that you really smart like I could really see myself being somebody's financial accountant it's very much giving that don't get me wrong I feel like business is a good major too business and financial accounting because they really go hand in hand but I don't know y'all like I'm leaning towards the financial accounting side just a little bit I like, can't y'all see me being somebody's finance financial accountant 
you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait till the end of the semester. If I like the class still, by the time the semester end, I'm gonna go ahead and change my major. But we gonna see, baby steps, baby steps. We looking really crazy right now, but trust the process, okay? So now we about to go in with some blush from ColourPop. This is in the color Just Cruising, and I'm about to put some of this on my cheeks so we can add some color in my face because we not trying to give Casper the friendly ghost, okay? <laughs> That's not what we trying to give, like. And I need to hurry up because it's already almost 10 o'clock, like, damn. I just be trying to figure out, like, why do time be going by so freaking fast? Like, yes, like, I feel like I just sat down and I just started talking to y'all and it's already almost 10 o'clock, like, damn. God damn it. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix. And this is in the shade. Uh, let me see y'all because this thing is so freaking old. What does this even say? Like NC45? Yeah. <laughs> this is in the shade NC45. Y'all, the numbers is faded on the back. Like I really couldn't even see it just now. I'm about to go in with this and set the rest of my face. Y'all, we are almost finished. I know y'all ready for me to get done. I really need to hurry up though, cause this time is not playing no freaking games right now. But I do wanna say thank y'all so freaking much for all the positivity y'all been giving me these past couple weeks. I feel the love, like, oh my God. When I tell y'all I love y'all so bad, like I love y'all real bad. I'm not gonna lie, knowing that I have a community that loves me for me, that supports me for me, like literally makes my heart melt. Like it literally makes my heart so freaking warm because I just be thinking like I literally prayed for this you know what I'm saying like I literally prayed for days like this and now I'm living in my prayer like like I'm so freaking grateful for y'all and I'll never stop telling y'all thank you like literally never so I just want to say thank y'all so freaking much I love y'all and y'all be on the lookout for the 20k giveaway because we almost there okay <laughs> we knocking on 20k's back door literally so y'all just be on the lookout for that so the last thing that I need to do is my eyeliner my lashes and my lips but I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because I need to hurry up because it's already 10 o'clock all right <laughs> so i'm gonna be right back all right y'all so i'm all done with my makeup and how i do <laughs> how i do like i think it looks so freaking good like your girl really looking like a snack right now it's very much giving two thousand dollar night but y'all i love y'all so freaking much i need to hurry up and leave the house it's already 10 03 we should grow a big fat crazy stupid bag a peaceful bag and let the money flow to us naturally and i'll see y'all when i get to the club What's up you guys? So today is the next day. Today is Sunday and your girl is at work right now. And I know I did not give y'all an update on how the club was yesterday or show y'all a money count, but your girl woke up dumb late today, y'all. Like, <laughs> when I tell you I literally woke up like an hour before I had to leave the house, I still had to take a shower. I still had to do my makeup. I still had to get dressed. I still had to make me some food so I could be good for the night. Like, I was all over the place. Like, it was literally ghetto as hell. So, so I did not have time to pick up the camera, but I am gonna show y'all money count whenever I get on off work and tell y'all how the club was because baby when i tell y'all it went down yesterday it went motherfucking down okay <laughs> like they had me so messed up yesterday like i was ready to crash out like i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i was ready to end it all okay <laughs> i was ready to end it all like stop motherfucking with me like for real i ended up getting into it with a dancer i got into it with a customer well i'm not really gonna say it got into it with a customer it was, but it's gonna all make sense later on when i tell y'all the story it'd be so funny because y'all always be saying barbie gonna tell a story every single time but y'all i'll be having to fill y'all in like <laughs> i'll be trying to put y'all on i'll be trying to tell y'all what really be going on in these strip clubs like the strip club is really a jungle like it's not this place that you go to that you just make all this money and it's never no drama never no bullshit like no the the strip club is a jungle every time you walk in the strip club it's always going to be some drama it's always going to be some bullshit and the thing is you don't even have to be the person that starts the bullshit you feel me like you don't have to be that person that starts the drama like the drama is just gonna find its way to you like that's literally how it works but y'all honestly i really need to learn how to control my emotions a little bit better like that's something that i was talking to myself about yesterday i was like barbie you really need to get a hold of your emotions like for real and and it's not that like I got anger issues or nothing like that. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. When I was younger, I had really bad anger issues. I definitely dealt with that. But it's like the older that I'm becoming, it takes a lot to really make me mad. You feel what I'm saying? So when you do make me mad, I'm pissed 
off. Like, I'm over the top. Like, I'm boiling. Like, I'm on fire. Like, that's the type of mad I get. Like, I literally be so fucking mad that I'll be ready to crash the hell out. And honestly, is it worth it? No. Is the person worth it no is the situation worth it maybe but is it worth it it, it really don't be worth it but y'all i've really been doing some self-reflecting lately especially today after yesterday i came to the conclusion to where like people are going to be people at the end of the day like you feel me like you cannot control nobody but yourself you cannot control how someone else is going to respond how somebody else is going to react only person that you can control is yourself and also on top of that everything do not need a reaction like i'm not gonna lie to y'all my biggest thing is feeling play like if you make me feel play like i'm really ready to slap the shit out of you every single time like do not do not make me feel play like once i feel play it just does something to me like it just really like shakes the room up for me like but honestly y'all nobody's perfect i'm not perfect either i do have my flaws and i'm also able to recognize my flaws i don't know y'all maybe i should go to therapy like but at least i'm able to recognize my flaws you feel what i'm saying a lot of people feel like they're perfect like they don't have any flaws at all which is really scary because if you feel like you you perfect if you feel like you don't have no flaws something is really wrong with you y'all let me stop doing all this talking because i do need to hurry up and go in this club what time is it 12 39 yeah i need to hurry up and get in there but the goal for tonight is a thousand dollars y'all i want to make me a cute little band to end my weekend off great like but i love you guys so freaking much i'm about to go on the inside and i'm gonna talk to y'all whenever i get out the club and give y'all an update on everything that happened yesterday because it was so freaking crazy i feel like yesterday really just was an eye-opener for me and I'm Honestly, y'all, even though the situation was so messed up, I'm still grateful for it. Like, I'm grateful for it because I learned from that situation. Wish it, girl, a big, fat, crazy, stupid bag, a peaceful bag, and let the money flow to us naturally. Hey guys so today is the next day today is tuesday it is september 3rd and right now your girl is at the crib i did have a 12 o'clock class no not 12 o'clock i did have a 11 o'clock class that i just came from i also had a one o'clock class that my teacher canceled and when i tell you god be knowing what you be needing like <laughs> god be knowing exactly what you need like yeah i am so happy that she canceled that class because i have so much stuff to do so with her canceling that class that really helped me out so i could try to get everything done with the amount of time that i do have i do have one more class at 2 30 yeah i think it's 2 30 that's my business class but after that your girl gonna be through for the day you feel me but let me tell y'all how the club was saturday and sunday and show y'all this money count i do need to pay my rent today so i most definitely need to show y'all this money count before i make this deposit but let's just get into the weekend okay <laughs> so friday i did not go to work which i'm happy i did not because i heard it was like really really bad so definitely dodge that bullet and saturday and sunday i did go to work but y'all when i tell y'all saturday was so crazy when i pulled up to work sunday i literally had to pray like <laughs> i literally had to pray like i'm not even playing i know i'm laughing but i'm not even playing like sunday when i pulled up to work i literally prayed so overall i felt like saturday was a cool night as far as like money and stuff went but towards the end of the night i want to say this was probably around like 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning like the club was about to close i ended up walking into this section right mind you it's not a section it's just a group of people that's just standing in a section but it's not a section so me and this girl is in a section right we start dancing so the people started throwing money so when the people started throwing money two girls ran over there mind you we already got money on the floor tell y'all that pissed me off so bad it's crazy because they really didn't even throw that much money but like i said it's never about the amount of money like it's always about the principle with me instantly i was irritated because i'm just like do y'all not have stripper etiquette you know what i'm saying do y'all not understand what that mean you feel me like do you not know what that is like what is it because at the end of the day like if you got money on the floor you should know that you're not supposed to step on somebody's bag you're not supposed to step on nobody's money and what really pisses me off more than anything is for the simple fact that i be feeling like not that they don't know i feel like they don't care like on some disrespectful type tommy like what you on for real so they ended up coming over there dancing one girl she actually came in the section mind you she wasn't even supposed to come over there but for the fact that you in the section and you're actually dancing you know what i'm saying cool whatever i ain't even gonna trip too much but the 
the other girl, she was standing on the side of the section, right? Not even in the section, on the side of the section. This girl, the whole time, this girl just shaking her leg. The whole time, she just shaking this one leg, thinking she gonna get some of the money because she's shaking this one leg. Absolutely not. You're not getting nothing. I don't care if I gotta take it out your pocket. You're not getting nothing. Y'all, when I tell you that pissed me off, because mind you, this is not the first altercation I had with this female. You feel me? This is just the type of person she is. She's a roach. She's a bum. Like, this is just what she do. So I'm talking to the girls in the section or whatever, and I'm like, y'all cool with this? Like, I'm just trying to figure out where y'all head at. Like, do y'all not care? Because if y'all don't care, I'ma just walk away because at the end of the day, I'm not about to be fighting over, over our money. Like, we all need to collectively come together and say something. So they gave me the vibe to where like, oh, we not gonna say nothing. We not gonna say nothing. Cool, then I'll say something. I will forever be that person. I don't care. Like, I'm very blunt. I say what's on my mind. I say how I feel. And I don't care how you feel about it. Because at the end of the day, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I can accept that. But if you're wrong, you're wrong. And accept that. Like, I'm not understanding the problem. <laughs> you feel me? Like, what the hell is really the problem? So I'm like, all right, bet. So I guess the girl saw me talking to everybody and she gonna chime in. She walked up the stairs. Mind you, the whole time, she was standing on the side of the section. She was never in the section. She comes up to the section and she walks up to me and she like, stop trying to put me off the bag. You always try to put me off the bag. And I politely told her, I said, back your dirty ass up. Back your dirty ass up. I don't even want you saying nothing to me. Don't say nothing to me, please. But mind y'all, I already have history with this girl. You feel me? So it's not like I'm just popping off for no reason. Like, no, I already got history with you for doing the same thing. Every time I turn around, you always trying to, you always on some roaching type time and you always trying to steal somebody money. You always trying to step on somebody bag. Like that shit is aggravating. And it's not like you did it one time. It's not like you did it two times. Every time I come to work, you doing it. <laughs> so I was pissed off. At this point, I don't have nothing nice to say to you. I'm not being cordial. It is what it is. So I told her back your dirty ass up instantly. Get back. Get the fuck back. So it was a big altercation about that. And she got mad that I called her dirty. And she was just like, I'm not dirty. I could never be dirty. Da -da -da. But mind you, she is dirty. But that's neither here nor there. I didn't just make that up. I promise. Like, <laughs> I'm not the type of person that just sit up here and make up stuff. Like, no, if you're dirty, you're dirty. I'll never call you dirty if you're not. You're dirty. Anyways, so I ended up going to the office and we all up in there talking about the situation or whatever, how she not on a bag. And it's so crazy because the third girl, mind you, originally it was only two girls, me and another girl. Like I told y'all, two other girls ran up to the section. So it's so crazy because a third girl that came to the section that actually was in the section, not the one that I called dirty, she ended up getting in the girl's ear that was in a section to tell the people to only give the money to her. So like I said, it's never about the amount of money it is it's always the principle with me every single time so i'm in the office and a girl was like that lady said all that money's mine anyways while y'all sitting up here arguing about it and i'm like wait what it threw me off because i'm like huh what like whole time i'm arguing with her about her shaking one leg not even in the section on the side of the section and whole time you trying to get everybody off the bag not only her but everybody so i had a problem with that too because what you mean i'm the reason me and this other girl is the reason they even broke bread he was not even over there when they broke bread so i'm trying to figure out how the hell did this even occur you feel me like i'm really confused right now and so they ended up telling the girl to come in the office so she could say out of her own mouth that she only wanted to get the money to the girl so the lady comes in the office right so when the lady come in the office she was just like i just wanted i just wanted her which was the girl that was trying to get all the money for herself she was like but these two ladies were over here first me and the other girl and they were dancing as well so all three of them collected Effectively was on the bag, right? Mind you, the lady said it out of her own mouth. So she ended up leaving the office. And when she left the office, they swore up and down I was making this girl nervous. They swore up and down I was pressing this girl. They swore up and down I was trying to make this lady say whatever I wanted her to say. At the end of the day, she a grown ass woman. I can't make her say nothing that she don't want to say. You feel me? Like how the hell am I making you say something that I want you to say and you grown as hell? 
you not no child. So that pissed me off because I hate when people try to do that. Like, don't do that. Like, don't make me seem like the bad guy. I am not the bad guy. So after she left the office, we had a couple more words. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I was livid. You really got me messed up. Everybody got me messed up right now. And one thing about me, I hate to feel played. When I feel played, I'm ready to crash out for real. Like, I do not like to feel played. Like, once I feel played, it's up. And I'm ready to knock whoever the hell out. Like, what's up? I ended up getting into it with the security lady. She didn't even do nothing wrong, to be honest. I was just pissed off. I really had to calm myself down because when I really thought about it, I was like, this really isn't even worth it. And she only threw like $100. But like I said, like, it's never about the amount of money with me. It's never about if she threw 100 or if she threw $1,000. It's never about that. It's always the principle. If you let somebody play with you one time, guess what they're going to do? They're going to play with you again. And it never gave that. <laughs> It never gave that. It never gave play with Barbie stacks. Like it never motherfucking gave that. So I said what the hell I had to say and I ended up putting my clothes on and I left. Like I knew in my mind I had to leave because if I stayed there, I was ready to crash out. I was ready to hop on whoever wanted it. For real. Like that's how mad I was. So where Sunday, whenever I got to work, I really had to pray. I just told God, I was like, God, I just asked you to take all this anger out of my heart. Please give me a clear mind. Please let tonight just be no fights, no confusions, no altercations and let me just make it home safely lord please and i left it at that <laughs> and i left it at that and y'all want to know something so crazy whenever i got done praying i told my girlfriend that i had prayed right mind you i have not walked in the club yet and my girlfriend was like nah you should have included in your prayer that she's just not even there not that nothing bad happened to her but she just don't even come tonight so you won't even have to worry about no problems and so i was thinking about it. i was like you know what i should have said that so i ended up saying another prayer and y'all tell me why that girl was not even there. <laughs> tell me why the girl was not even there. Like, God be listening to you. Like, God really answers prayers for real. Like, but Sunday, the club was cool. Like, I literally have no complaints Sunday. Let me show y'all this money count from Saturday and Sunday. I do need to hurry up and go pay my rent because I do got to hurry up and go back to class at 2.30. So, let's do this money count. Right quick, y'all, before I show y'all this money count, I know a lot of y'all be commenting and y'all be telling me all the time, like, you too pretty to be fighting. You too pretty to be doing all of that. But honestly, y'all, it don't have nothing to do with how I look. It's always a principle with me. Like, I stand on this. You're not going to play with me. I don't care if I was ugly. You're not going to play with me, period. All right, y'all. So let's do this money count. I'm trying to figure out which one's from Saturday. I think this one's from Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. So let's do this money count from Saturday. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 20, 30, 45. And then once we have $50, so that's 600, 45 plus 50, 50, 50. So altogether Saturday night, we made $695 on a Saturday, which is not bad, really not mad at it. So that is Saturday's money. And this is Sunday's money. 100, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. So that's $700, 20, 40. And we do have some leftover ones. I'm about to run this through the money counter right quick and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So in ones, we have $63. So that is what? 700 plus plus. 40 plus 63 is 803 and Sunday we made 803 dollars I am not mad at it at all like <laughs> I feel like I did I'm not gonna say all that but I feel like I did okay like I'm really not mad at this weekend at all I feel like I should have made way more than what I actually did because it was Labor Day weekend I was just expecting to make way more than this because it was a lot going on in the city like they had so much events going on they even had celebrities pop out and everything but no celebrities ended up coming to our club which I was kind of sad about <laughs> I was kind of sad because I was hoping somebody came to the club and threw a bag. But honestly, I feel like everybody was tired from the events that they had going on in the city. And nobody really wanted to come to the strip club. So for me to make what I made, I'm not mad at it. And I honestly feel like it's really good because not that many people came to the strip club. So your girl really had to grind this weekend. Your girl really had to scrub the ground this weekend for her coins. 
But y'all, let's go pay this rent before I gotta go back to class. It's already 1 31 and I gotta be at class in the next hour. So let's go. Hey, right, so your girl is at Chick-fil-A right now. I'm trying to figure out where all the cars at. Cause it's very much giving its clothes. And today is Tuesday. Like, why the hell does it look closed? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. But I'm about to grab me some food. I'm freaking starving. I need to go to Walmart so I can buy me some groceries because I literally have no food in my house. It's very much getting sad life. But oh my God, y'all. I need to tell y'all something that happened earlier that literally almost made me throw up. So earlier when I went to the bank to make my deposit, the lady had said my name. So I was just like, how do you know me like it just kind of threw me off like how do you know me she didn't call me barbie she didn't call me barbie stack she called me by my government name and i'm just like how do you know me yeah can i get an eight count meal with um barbecue sauce and water for the drink that's all thank you all right. barbecue sauce my fucking foot feel like it's going to sleep hold on trying to figure out my damn shoelace is too tight or what's going on anyways let me finish telling y'all what happened so mind you she called me by my government name so i'm just like you know me like to call me by my government name like you know me know me you feel what i'm saying like you know me know me and she was like yeah i go to church with you and i started thinking i'm like i've never seen you at church before like don't get me wrong like i don't go to church that often but i do go to bible study i'm not gonna say every wednesday but when i can i do go to bible study and i've literally never seen this woman's face a day in my life but mind you my sister goes to church with me and i do not want my sister to know that i'm a stripper hey. Thank you. Have a good day. Let me eat my food right quick and then I'm gonna come back and tell y'all what happened. My bad, Joe. I had to eat my food. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to figure out where did I leave off in the story. I think I left off where I was telling y'all how she said my government name. So she ended up saying my name, like my government name. Like she didn't call me Barbie. She didn't call me Barbie Stack. She didn't say none of that. She said my government name. So my mind, I'm thinking whatever it is, what it is. So I'm passing her the ones, the hundreds, the tens, the twenties. You know what I'm saying? I'm passing her all the bread. So then she ends up telling me, are you ready for your sister to have her baby? And I was just like, huh? Now when I tell y'all that literally made my mind go blank. You know my sister too? Like, <laughs> I was just thinking like, oh my God, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Like, y'all, I do not want my sister to know that I'm a stripper. Like, I don't care about nobody else knowing I'm a stripper. My brother can know I'm a stripper. My cousins can know I'm a stripper. My aunts, uncles can know I'm a stripper. Don't get me wrong. Like, I really don't care if they know or if they don't know, but I really don't want my sister to know I'm a stripper. My sister knowing that I'm a stripper is equivalent to your mother figuring out that you're a stripper. It's just certain people you just don't want to know. So in my mind, I was thinking that she was gonna know I was a stripper because, you know what I'm saying, of the money, like the ones, the, you know what I'm saying? And right after that, she ended up asking me what I do for work. And in that moment, I felt like I was about to throw up. <laughs> I felt like I was gonna like throw up on that lady. What do you mean what I do for work? Don't get me wrong, like I know as a bank teller, you cannot disclose certain information, you know what I'm saying, amongst other people. That's kind of like going to the hospital and a doctor telling you somebody else's business. I'm not really worried about her telling my sister that I went to the bank with all the ones and all that money and stuff like that. I'm not really worried about that, but I just don't want her to be like, what did your sister do? I saw her at the bank, you know what I'm saying? She got some bread, like. <laughs> What do your sister do? I do not want her to say that because I swear if my sister call my phone and she gets to ask me questions, I'm going to tell her straight up. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to lie in all and tell her I do not even go to that bank that that lady work at. I'm not going to even lie to you. Anything my sister asks me, I'm lying about straight up and down. Like, <laughs> don't lie, y'all. That was one of them oh shit moments. <laughs> like, oh shit. Like, nah, you was not about to catch me up. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't think that she's going to say anything to my sister but I also don't know for a fact either. But right quick y'all before we go into Walmart if you are not following me on Instagram you already know what I'm about to say. I literally say it every single video. If you are not following me on Instagram go ahead over to my Instagram. My Instagram name is Barbie underscore stacks two e's and Barbie underscore two z's and stacks and make sure y'all follow your girl on the gram. I do follow back. Y'all we are almost at 10k on Instagram and we almost at 20k on YouTube. <laughs> 
<laughs> y'all that is so crazy to me like uh i love my community so bad like i love y'all so much i think i say this every single video but i really mean it like without y'all i would not even be here like you guys are literally my motivation i run across so many women every single day especially at the strip clubs and stuff like that that tell me that they watch my videos and i inspire them to keep going i inspire them to keep pushing i inspire them to keep grinding and honestly y'all it makes my heart melt like literally because just to think that i inspire other women it just makes me feel like i'm doing what i'm supposed to do on earth you know what i'm saying <laughs> don't get me wrong like i'm not gonna say like that's my only obligation but it makes me feel like i'm doing a good deed i love y'all so freaking much and this is only the beginning okay <laughs> this is only the beginning watch how proud i make y'all y'all gonna be like damn like barbie sex yeah that's really my girl <laughs> Watch how proud I make y'all, for real. But y'all, let me stop doing all this talking and stop being so freaking emotional and go up in this Walmart right quick so I can get these groceries. I do not know what I'm gonna cook tonight. I low-key wanna get tacos. Let's go. What's up you guys? So your girl just got out the shower not too long ago. It is two o'clock in the morning so I'm about to go ahead and get ready for bed. But y'all I love y'all so freaking much. This is going to conclude the video. If you are not following me on Instagram make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. If you have not purchased your ebook make sure you guys go ahead and click on that link down in the description box below and you get your ebook. And also on top of that make sure you guys are staying on the lookout for the 20k giveaway when we do hit 20k. I love you guys so freaking much. I'm about to go ahead and call it a night because like I said it's two o'clock in the morning i got class at 11. your girl's gonna be crying okay <laughs> your girl's gonna be crying when it's time to get up in the morning i hope y'all enjoyed today's video if you enjoyed today's video and you made it all the way to the end make sure you guys drop a red heart in the comment section below and let your girl know you in the building i love you guys so freaking much and i'll see you guys in next week's video